What's up everybody, Tindo here. Gonna have a super casual day of thrifting today. Gonna just kind of roll around town, go to a few thrift stores, and then probably end up at the Goodwill bins because that's just what I feel like doing today. So stick around for that. gas station. I'm dying of thirst. I'm gonna go in and get something real quick. BRB. <laughs> All right, squirt and cheese sticks. Is there any better combination? I don't think so. Now listen, last time I uh, drank a little drinky drink on the channel, some of you guys went out and tried it and found out it was, uh, it was a bit too much. The lemonade I drink is, is really powerful. This is worse. This will kick you in the teeth. So if you ain't ready, don't go get no squirt. I don't know, do any of you guys drink this? I I, I love it, but uh, yeah, let's go. So today's adventure is gonna start with something interesting, something a little bit different. I'm actually at a Goodwill that I went to on yesterday's episode, and something interesting happened while I was here, and I didn't really include it in yesterday's episode. But there was a case for GameCube uh, Metroid game that uh, was empty. There was no disc in it. That was a bummer. Someone definitely just stole it out of there. And uh, I found something else while I was here. I don't even remember what now. But I tried to buy that empty case too and they were just like hard no. Which <laughs> it was also kind of a, a frustrating encounter with that cash register. I think they didn't have the authority to do it but they also were so busy they didn't want to ask. And I kind of understand that. I know they don't really have a strong policy on giving away empty cases at Goodwills. I'm, it's just up to the deference of the manager at the time. and uh, So it just didn't go well yesterday. But today's Sunday, the day after half off Saturday. It's usually a pretty chill day. So what I'm going to attempt to do is go back in here, search the place over again, make sure there's nothing else I want, and then try to sweet talk my way into getting that empty case once more. Might as well try, huh? Still here. That's good. All right, it's still here, so we're gonna try this again. But I also found some other stuff that I'd like to get. So, not a complete waste of trip, even if I don't get this. Okay, it's still here. I'm not surprised that it is, just like yesterday. Still no disc in it, but uh, what's kind of funny is that there's a lot of new stuff that is on the shelves over here. It wasn't here yesterday, but there's a catch. It's not new. This happens after every busy half off Saturday. This stuff is put back where it goes and it's empty. And why did it have to get put back where it goes? Well, because inevitably the workers here at the store found these in the back of the store, didn't open them to check them because they didn't realize someone just stole the cartridges, stole the discs, and tossed them back up here, which is very frustrating. But I did find what I came looking for. I found a Top Gun, only game that I found that the disc isn't stolen. And then this was on their cart of new stuff. So I am gonna buy that. There's so much more here I would buy. If it wasn't all stolen. You know, there are situations, of course, where they probably put out discs or games that don't have a disc in accidentally, but it's not what these are. I know that for a fact. All right, it worked. I did get the empty case, but it almost didn't happen. The guy at the cash register asked three different people and they told him probably no, but asked someone else. And then he did that like three times. I held up the line forever, which was the problem that would have happened yesterday had they taken the time to go get a new sticker for it. But I was a bother today. I bothered Goodwill and I'm sorry. 
but I got the empty case. I got it for a dollar, which is what usually happens. I mean, there's a Goodwill really close to my house that has uh, good game cases all the time, and they're always like tucked underneath a, uh, a shelf somewhere in the back of the room where someone's stolen the disc and just chucked them. And uh, I'll find them there, and I'll be like, hey guys, can I get this cheaper? I'm sorry someone robbed you, but you can still make a buck off me. But I don't know, maybe they don't really get the memo at this particular Goodwill. And I just noticed that there's a NBA sticker on the front of this Metroid Prime case. This really wasn't worth the trouble for having the case, but maybe it was worth it for the episode. I don't know, let's, let's move on. I ate that like a monster. You're supposed to, you're supposed to do this. That's way better. Why did I do that in the first place? It's way better. Next up is a Sabres, and this one's gonna be interesting because I can't tell you the last time I've been to a Sabres that wasn't on a half off Monday. Today's just a regular old Sunday, nothing's on sale, but let's go see if we can find something. All right, let's keep going. Why? Why does the human body work the way it does with food? Why can't I just eat as much of this as I want? I would eat this for every meal. You think I'm joking, but I love it. <laughs> Squirting cheese sticks. That's all he ate. He died at 33. Last stop of the day is the Goodwill Bins. I don't have a lot of time right now, so it's gonna be a real quick trip. Let's go find something good. Bag full of Sims games for five bucks. Let's go. I love I love quick trips to the bins. The bins really is one of my favorite places on earth. Every time I post a video going to the bins, people always comment, man, I live nowhere near one. And I, I honestly super, super feel for you guys that love thrifting and don't have a bins because I've been wanting to collect some of those Sims PC games. It's a, it's a future plan, a future video, but don't tell Hannah, but Sims is her favorite game. And I plan on building her a computer rig that can kind of play some of those older generation Sims games. It's something I've been planning on doing for a little while. And uh, obviously I need to buy some games for her to play on said computer rig. And uh, yeah, so every time I see them at the Goodwills though, they're all marked five, six dollars. Like some of those are marked five or six bucks. I wouldn't have paid that at the regular Goodwill. But I got like the whole Sims 2 set just now for five bucks. What's up? Let's go. You know how you know when you're fat? You know when you're fat, when you get to that last bite, and then you're sad that it's gone. That's how you know. 
you know them. You've messed up. You've made some mistakes in life. All right, guys. Back in the game room. Gonna run through everything that we got real quick. I'm excited about this. There's some of this stuff in here I don't know anything about. I definitely want you guys to comment below and let me know if you know anything about it, if I should play some of this nonsense. Uh, I mean, Battle Chess, it's probably a chess game, right? So I probably don't need to play it, but I don't know. If there's anything else special about it, I might. It's got a Bookman sticker on it. Uh, can't quite tell how much it costs in Bookman's, but I paid a couple bucks for it. And then, this is kind of funny. Farming Simulator. I don't know why anybody would want to play a farming simulator when they can just play Minecraft. I'm very passionate in my stance that you should just play Minecraft if you want to play a farming simulator. And then I got a random Wii game. Actually, I got two random Wii games today. Uh, Ni Hao, Kai Lan, uh, Super Game Day, Nickelodeon show. Uh, it seems to be from one of those Nickelodeon shows aimed at teaching children foreign languages, which I really, really dig. That's awesome. Probably won't play it, but I want that complete Wii collection, so it was a necessary buy. Another random Wii title, Let's Paint. <laughs> it's made by Zoo, who is the maker of, of many, many, many terrible Wii titles. But those two were in great shape. I was very happy to buy them. Top Gun for the GameCube. I actually have two copies of this game. One of them loose, which is the first one I found. And then another one that's just in bad condition that I got for like a dollar once. And this is in perfect condition. Has everything that it came with it originally, including some sort of poster. Very happy to have that. I will just take my other two copies for trade-in at some point. Uh, and then, let's see, what else did I get? Well, you all know about this. Rip, pour one out for your homies. Such a bummer. I don't know. Wonder how much it costs loose discs, because that's probably how I'm going to have to find it. And then, look at all of this. Uh, there's, <laughs> I've got a huge stack of sim stuff. You saw me at the bins find a bunch of sim stuff, uh, but it was way more than I actually showed on camera. A lot of the times I walk into a thrift store and kind of get my shooting done, make a compelling episode for you guys, and then I spend extra time there just to make sure I don't miss anything. This is when I have time now. There's plenty of times I go to a thrift store and I might miss stuff because I don't have the time, but uh, you know, a lot of the times I had a little bit of extra time at the bins today than I thought it would, so I kind of just put the camera away, dug through the rest of the books, and I got all of this sim stuff sims 2 celebration stuff it's literally titled stuff uh mansion and garden stuff the sims 2 pets sims 2 family fun stuff and there was two of these there and then sims 2 glamorous life stuff these are all add-ons uh sims 2 free time sims 2 happy holiday stuff <laughs> the sims 2 university and Sims 2 kitchen and bath interior design stuff. And that's not it. There is one more, and, and this one more I'm so terribly excited about. This last one, I can't not, I could not have imagined before today that this existed, but it does. New The Sims 2 IKEA. I've made uh, no shortage of remarks about my love for IKEA on this channel. And you're telling me there's a Sims add on for IKEA? I really just want to play it and see if it has my Billy bookcases. And then if it has my Billy bookcases in this game and you can make them yellow, I've got to get on here and recreate the game room, don't I? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, we don't have any huge plans to make any Sims-related content in the future, but we do have a lot of plans in the future to uh, create some more gaming content, some more playthroughs, some more game reviews, that type of stuff. So Hannah, Hannah will definitely be taking the reins on some Sims videos uh, a bit into the future and hey we've got plenty of it sims 2 video coming right up that's not all i got i got two more things here guinness world records 2017 i'm knocking all of these out i'm excited about this one because it's got the original mario maker in there and uh i love reading these i've read a couple of them front to back already can't wait to check that one out. And one of these days when we get around to those reviews and playthroughs and stuff that we're talking about, uh, it'll be neat to add some s stuff into the video, into that content from uh, those types of books. You know, throw some blurbs up. The Guinness World Records said in 2017 that this game did this. Whatever. What is this? <laughs> what What are this? Um, I When I saw it, I knew it was video game related immediately. A big line on the front. And then... 
You open it up, and there's a uh, an inscription, if you will. I'm not gonna sit here and read it, but and then you keep going, and then there's a map, and the map is like on cloth. It's on pleather, and it's the 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 first clue as to what it was was on this map. It says Conan. I know nothing about this. I don't know how old of a system I need to play this, but I'm very excited to have it. Uh, okay, so it's XP, I guess. Or is that B? I don't even know at this point, but uh, I'll find out. Hopefully all the discs are here. They are all four discs. I didn't even check it. I was like, that box is dope. It's going on the shelf. It's going on top of one of these shelves. That's beautiful. All the booklets are here and it has a code. Hopefully it's not already used. It could be. If it is, I'll probably just buy it on Steam or something and then just keep this for display. But uh, there's lots of other little pamphlets in here. And this box is lined with velvet. Well, not velvet. It's like plastic with a velvety material on it. But this is just wild. I couldn't leave it there, especially since they charged me what they charge for a regular game there at the bins, which is like 50 cents. So I got this big Conan box for 50 cents. Does anybody have any experience playing this game? Please let me know. Comment below. Let me know what you know about it. And uh, I'll consider playing it if you guys think that it's any good. But guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for rolling around town going to some thrift stores with me. Come back tomorrow, we'll very likely do the exact same thing. Before you go, guys, please hit that subscribe button. I'm like, I don't know, 20 or 30 subs away from 1,000 subs. Super excited to get there. Super excited to be a real YouTuber. So hit that sub button if you haven't already. And then if you haven't already, also make sure your bell notifications are turned on. I know every YouTuber asks you, but it's important to me. It's important to your boy that whenever I post a new video and bring home these ridiculous big box PC games, you get a notification whenever I post those videos and then you can immediately come hang out with me then. And until then guys, peace out. Oh yeah, no, not peace out. Join the Discord. I can't forget the Discord because it grows every day. It's got more than 100 members in there now. We've only been running it for a couple months and we're past 100, 100 members of the Discord. So come to the Discord chat with us. You know, if you know a lot about this, come over there and hit me up personally on the Discord. Let's chat about this game. Now I can say goodbye. So until next time guys, Peace out.